Hey, welcome good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be on the Flyers falling again to the Detroit Red Wings, who are a much better home team than they are away team, which is why they're in the playoff hunt 4-2. to two. Of course, the Flyers fell in the first uh, part of the home-and-home home against the Detroit Red Wings 6-3 to three last game at their home barn, which is not the best fit because the Red Wings are one of the poor away teams at the NHL level, especially the ones that are in the playoff race, that would put them already in the playoffs right now if they weren't as poor on the road compared to how they are at home, the Detroit Hockey Town Red Wings. But now in Hockey Town, Mike Yo called after that uh, game on, what was it, um, Wednesday, I think? Yeah, Wednesday, that the Flyers fell 6-3. Uh, to three. He called for more, like, basically just effort, like more like look like you're trying to come back and give give a damn, basically, after, even if they score the first goal, after whatever happens, um, Mike Yo basically just called out the team for, we just need to show some, like, oomph in our play, and some extra, extra, um, effort in our play, because when the Flyers were down in game, obviously, and everybody knows this, it looked like, uh, they were out, and in this game, he called for the team to play with a lot more, um, a lot more effort in the game, but also a lot more jump, and they did that at times, which is what got it back to being a one-goal game. When they were down 2 nothing. Yandel was able to wind one home and finally get his first goal as a flyer. A uh, Sider then did one bar down, so that put them up 3-1, but then Lawden was able to come down and get a fortunate play uh, that Tomas Grice didn't control it, but the Flyers in the second period, were well, the first, like I think it was like six minutes, had like it was five or six chances to to zero in terms of scoring chances on their shots. So they were getting those high-octane shots. It's just Tomas Grace then was stopping them. And then he, of course, had that bad goal go in by Scott Lawn. But overall, he actually played a fairly good game where in 34 shots on goal, I thought the Flyers had a fairly good handful of good scoring chances in this game. They showed a much better effort. Yo called for them to come out and play more of the brand of Flyers hockey where you're winning puck battles like Oscar Lindblom did continuously today. That seems like he's getting back to being the old Oscar Lindblom like Jim Jackson even said on the broadcast. Uh, you also have Jerry Mayhew. Uh, <clears throat> I put this out uh, in a tweet during the game, but he plays well to have that shot. He's not going to wow you, no, but he has that shoot first mentality at the bottom six level that Atkinson bring to the top six, um, which is a nice thing because sometimes the Flyers, I think, kind of over think plays at time and go to the second option, which isn't the best option half of the time, instead of just going with the best first option. But in this game, they showed a lot more spunk. They showed a lot more get back, where they were down 2 nothing, fought back, pulled the goalie, had a chance on that bank play by Giroux. That actually was a rare play where Atkinson tried to pass it. He probably should have fired it. Um, and then they were able to score there, Rasmussen, um, on the goal, going down ice on the empty net or where I believe it was Yandel tried to throw his stick, uh, which obviously then would have counted as a goal anywho, even if it didn't go in. So, the Flyers, at this season juncture, at this point, we know we're going to have a top 10 pick. This season's a wash in terms of trying to battle back, even when Danny Breer got Heidi basically, without saying that, pretty much said that. Um, so, at this point, it's about showing, you're showing your, like, Basically, you're giving a damn on the ice while you're playing. And the Flyers, for a while, you, you don't want to question a team will and effort on nights in, nights out. But that has been what has been happening the past few games before this one. And in this one, you can't do that because they did have the get back. They had uh, Law night in and night, or day in and day out, I should say, today winning the battle. Same with Limblom. Uh, Mayhew was flying around the ice. Yandel had a rare, actually, really solid game. A pretty solid game in general this season. He blasted one home where he's obviously been struggling mightily this season <clears throat> and is really in the lineup. One of the greatest guys in the game ever. Obviously, funniest dude ever. One of the funniest dudes in the game, but he's really in the lineup at this point of his career more because you're extending the streak and the Flyers. It's not like they have the abundancy of options. You would take Kanaden and Sealer out of the lineup. Those guys should have been out of the lineup first and foremost to put young guys in that are now playing for the Phantoms. And then you will take those guys out before you even took a Yandel out anyway with Risto out. So it wouldn't have really made much of a difference. Yandel would have been in even if the young guys probably did play because you would have only played one or two of them, not three young guys in the lineup, I don't think. 
But anywho, uh, the Flyers lost 4-2. to two. They gave a lot better of an effort, though. Carter Hart played very well in net. That's the sad part. He continuously plays amazing in net and just keeps getting losses, even though he's one of the better statistical goaltenders this season. So, um, hopefully, eventually, the Flyers will be able to find a will and a way. They had a good willpower and good effort in this game, but hopefully they're able to find a will and a way next game. Um, as they play the rival Pittsburgh Penguin on Tuesday, who are obviously a really good team, 29-11-8, playing really well uh, this season. Sullivan deserves a lot of credit because they have Malkin and Crosby out for a lot of the season. Um, that's at Pittsburgh. Obviously, uh, the Flyers play pretty well at a PPG Paints, so hopefully that can continue. Maybe they can get a one of those unexpected wins because you're not going to expect anything at this point with the team. I'll go into game. Very well, have a great saving plus day. Please can subscribe down below on the easy to use sub button or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to 200 subscribers by the end of February. Let's go Flyers. Great job today having the better effort in play, but now it's about trying to get back into that win column so you can get Carter Hart back into the win column because he overly deserved it. Peace out, everyone.